Are you smarter than a professor? Hello, everyone, and welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Professor? The game show where students and professors duke it out in the epic battle of the minds to ultimately see who is smart. But before we begin, let's take a look at the rules. The rules. A team of two professors and two students will compete in two rounds. Teams will play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors. The victorious team decides whether they start first in round one or round two. Round one consists of 25 toss-up questions divided in the categories of science, English, social studies, pop culture, and the wild Teams will alternate choosing the category for each question based on who gets it right. However, any team may buzz in with an answer at any time during the question. If the first team guesses right, they get 10 points. If incorrect, the other team gets a chance to answer. Round two consists of two individual bonus rounds. One member from each team is chosen and given a category. Each member gets their own individual prompt and must name as many things as possible that go along with it in only five seconds by themselves. Each answer that is on our list is worth 10 points. Both people will do this, however, only the person with the most correct answers on the list in the round takes home the points, unless a tie occurs. In the result of a tie, both teams take home the points. All right, everyone, now that we know the rules, let's introduce our contestants. So, professors, tell us a little bit about yourselves and what you do. Hello, I am Professor Kara Riley Nowak, and I am a assistant, excuse me, associate professor of forensic science, CSI, and the chair of criminal justice studies. Hi, I'm Don Vincent. Uh, I'm an associate professor of digital media. I am associate pro <laughs> I'm associate professor of digital media and communication uh, and chair of the of the program. Hi, I'm Juliana. Uh, my major is DMAC, and I'm a student here at Hilbert. Hi, I'm Mia. I'm a junior here at Hilbert. I'm a double major student in psychology and DMAC. All right, that's great. Now, let's begin the game show. So, people on the inside, Professor Vincent and Juliana, play a quick game of rock, paper, scissors, and whoever wins can choose whether they go first in round one or two. Oh, I, I her time was... Oh! <laughs> I'll give it to her, though. Yeah, looks like students <laughs> win. All right, students, would you like to go first in round one or round two? Uh, round one. Sure thing. Okay, let's begin the game show now. So, students, what category would you like? What would you want to get? Let's do English 10. English for 10. And just a reminder, anyone can buzz in at any point during the question. Who wrote the political satire also loved as a children's book titled Alice's Adventures in Wonderland? This. Thank you. <laughs> students. His, his last name's Lewis or something like that. Lewiston? No, not Charles. St Steve Lewiston or something like that. Not Steve. Mm, there's a Lewis in there. <laughs> I don't know how much that counts for. I can't give that to you. Robert Lewis. No, I don't get it. Mm, professor, do you have a answer? <laughs> No, the answer is Lewis Carroll. I knew there was a Lewis. You had a little oh, bit of it, but unfortunately, I can't give it to you. Don't lose any points, though. Okay, professors. What category? Uh, let's do pop culture. Pop culture. What U.S. artist is also known as the king of pop? Professors. That is correct. We have our first points on the board. Professors, you have 10 
Professor, you get to go again. <laughs> Let's stay with pop culture. Pop culture, okay. What is the longest running game show on television? Oh, I think students were a little bit fast. Is it Jeopardy? That is incorrect. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is oh, also incorrect. Oh, the price is, the price is right. I'm <laughs> There are a lot of game shows on television. <laughs> Students, it's your turn. We get English for 10. English for 10. Let's do it. The Divine oh. Comedy, a massive narrative poem, including a sections from Inferno, Purgatorio, and Paradiso, completed in 1320, is best known for the work of what Italian poet? <laughs> mm. <laughs> Students, you can buzz in at any time in the question, by the way. I don't have okay. to be finished reading. Okay, all right. Okay. Uh, okay. Dante Student. Aguilieri. I think that's his last name is Aguilieri, but it's Dante. That is yeah. correct. I'll give you that. Yeah. Dante. All Dan right. Students, Delaware. you have the first point on the board now. It is 10 versus 10. Students, what category? Do you want to do another one? Or what do you want to do? We'll try pop culture. Okay, uh, we'll try pop culture for 10. Pop not culture. Not too many 10s to choose from, so. Um, mm hmm I'll take the first 10. Who is the oldest? Bro. <laughs> that is <Yeah>. correct. <laughs> I don't Courtney even know. Courtney is that. correct. <laughs> I don't know a lot, but I don't know. All right, yeah. professors, with a <laughs> wicked fast answer. What would you like next? Stick with pop culture. Pop culture again. We are grinding out this category. Which American rapper? MC Hammer. That is correct. <laughs> Professor's on a roll right now. Oh my god. So <laughs> Professor's. <laughs> is told, let's, let's finish Pop the category. Pop culture. Okay. What is the opening line? You are no strangers to love. Students? Ooh. That is yeah. correct. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> you could have sang it too, but I'll give it to you. I was gonna say we've known each other. Oh, that, yeah. We've known each other. <laughs> All right, students, it is your turn. Uh, English for ten. English, okay, grinding out English as well. Behold the blank. We laugh at how he looks to us. Begins a poem by Ogden Nash. The blank is filled by what giant? Herbivore native to sub-Saharan Africa. Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> you gotta ring the bell. Don't. Professors. <laughs> that is incorrect. Uh, Students. Behold the blank. What could he be talking about? Oh, rhinoceros? That Rhino? is incorrect. Mm -hmm. The answer is a hippopotamus. Uh, <laughs> Hippopotamus. Why are they laughing at him? <laughs> All right. Students. Um, let's do social studies ten. Social studies. We're gonna start on social studies. Okay. Who is commonly referred to as the person who created? <laughs> Professors are a little bit faster oh. there. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, I'm. Oh, um. <laughs> Gutenberg. <laughs> yes, that is correct. <laughs> Johannes. Johannes Gutenberg. <laughs> I know, I literally did. <laughs> All righty, professors. Um, let's, let's do social studies. Social studies again. Okay. Who was the explorer who left Puerto Rico, seeking the coast of Florida while looking for the fountain of youth? Any guesses? What's the first one? <laughs> I know this. I just can't believe it. Any guesses? You can buzz in. You cannot lose points in this game show. I just can't think of his name. He's been so long. He's, it's not Christopher Columbus. I know that for sure. Mm. Any guesses? Five more seconds. Vasco da Gama. 
<laughs> that is incorrect. Students, any guesses? I can't think of the name. Time is up. Ponce oh, wow. de Leon. Alrighty. What category would you like? Uh, English time. English. What part of speech shows the relationship between a noun slash pronoun and other words in a sentence? Professors. That is correct. Getting some more points on the board, extending that lead of yours. Professor, what category? Science for 10, getting science done out of the way. What is anthropology, the study of? That is correct. Wow. Even more specific with it, humanity. Yes. People. Students, what category? English ten. English for ten. The last question. In a Christmas Carol, how many ghosts? Three. Students, four. That is incorrect. Four? Professors, oh, that Marley. is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone forgets about the fourth one. <laughs> All right, professors, extending your lead even more. <laughs> professors, <laughs> what category would you like? We'll do science for 10. Science <laughs> for 10. <laughs> Who is the creator of the periodic table? Jeez. Who created that thing? You know, the thing with all the ideas. elements. Scientists. Mm hmm. James periodic. Yeah. <laughs> that is incorrect. You also didn't buzz in. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Any ideas? No? Any guesses, students? No. It is Dmitri Mendeleev. Alrighty. <laughs> students. Social studies for 10. Social studies for 10. The British were busy trying to raise taxes from the American colonies by imposing numerous taxes in 1767. Collectively, they were known as what? What were they known as? Hmm. Any guesses? Any thing at all? Time. It is the Townsend Act. Alrighty. What category would you like? Wild card has not been touched. I'm gonna start the wild card. What do you want? Um. Uh, I think they picked last time. I think it's okay. Oh. Wild card. wild card, okay. What could be lurking in the shadows of the wild card? We're about to find out. What is the world's deadliest insect? Professor. That is correct. Professors, what category would you like? Let's do wild card. Wild card again. Taking another shot in the dark. Let's see what it is. In the video game Outlast, the setting is in a fictional place called Mount Massive Asylum. The Richardson Complex, the old Hotel Henry. That is correct. Yeah. That is correct. Oh, out less paid off. It's a very scary <laughs> game. Alrighty. Students, what would you like? Uh, another wild card. A wild card again, okay. What could it be? In the 10th century, who became the first European to land in North America? Is it Columbus? That is incorrect. It's not that easy. Sure, say it. Lee Ferrickson? That is correct! Oh, like Lee Ferrickson like Day! You didn't know he was real? Well, he is like indeed a real person. <laughs> Alrighty, <laughs> professors. Wild, Wild card. card, okay. In 2003, scientists finished. Oh my gosh. I do. 
the human genome project. That is correct. <laughs> Just... All righty, professor, on a roll right now. What would you like? Sure, Which wild card? What could it be? We're about to find out. What theory did the Chicago Republican newspaper story spread on the cause of the Chicago fire? Wow. That is correct. Wow. Specifically, a Mrs. cow. Cow's specifically, part. Mrs. O'Leary's cow. I'll give it to you because it's a cow. Mrs. O'Leary's cow. <laughs> Kicking over a lantern in a barn, setting nearby hay ablaze. That is quite the story. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Professors, on a roll, what would you like? We have science and social science. Science again. Let's see what it is. Which is the rarest type? Students. It's RH plus or RH like the. That is incorrect. Specifically what? Maybe like a positive or negative? Mm-hmm. Sugar. Maybe maybe positive. That is incorrect. Oh. A B negative. Mm, at a 50-50 there. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Students. Studies. Who is the shortest serving United States president? Shortest serving president. Hmm. Yeah, okay. Oh. Rossers. Garfield? That is incorrect. I was gonna say that, but that didn't feel right. Students, do you have any guesses? You're currently a little ways behind. Any shots in the dark? <laughs> Presents. Really there are the only ones I know. There's 50 to choose from. Mm -hmm. I want to say either Abraham Lincoln or George Bush. But that, that's all I can think of at the moment. It's probably, it's probably not that. Any guess? No, George Washington like, served or died. So. The shortest serving president. Five more seconds. Guess JFK. Incorrect. William yeah. Henry oh, Harrison. <laughs> Okay, professors, we have two science and one social studies. Social studies. Social studies, getting it out of the way. What could it possibly be? What was the name of the first English settlement? Roanoke? Yes. Oh. Roanoke, yes. or Roanoke, however you want to pronounce it. it just jumped off the face of the earth. Ah, I see. Right. <laughs> okay, students. Uh, we're yeah, saying science yeah. for 10. Science. Okay. What is the instrument barometer? Pressure. That is correct. I'll give it to you. Atmospheric pressure. One more left. How many bones are in the human body? 204. 200? Get it wrong. Is it correct? Is it incorrect? It is correct. Yeah. Two hundred and six. Changing your answer, like, but I will give it to you. Okay. This is a uh, quite the point deficit right now. However, there is another round, so we'll be back with round two after these messages. Hello everyone, and we're back with round two of Are You Smarter Than a Professor? Students currently have 50 points and professors have 120. However, in round two, it is possible, despite the point deficit for students, to be able to make a fourth quarter comeback here. So, Let's begin. Professors, students chose to go first in round one, so you get to go first in round two. So, the two categories that we have for today's bonus round are science and geography. Which category would you like to go first? Sure, I'll do the geography. Are you sure? Yeah. 
Okay. All right. All right. So you will do science. Okay. So your science question is as soon as I'm done reading the question, I will start the timer. So. As we mentioned earlier, we talked about the maker of the periodic table. Name noble gases. Your timer starts now. Helium. Hydrogen. <laughs> timer went off. It was very quiet. <laughs> All right, it went off. Helium and hydrogen. Okay. So, unfortunately, hydrogen was not on our list. But helium was, in fact, on our list. Okay, okay. okay, so that is one point. Students, this is totally winnable right now. No pressure. But, students, who would like to answer the science question? Okay. <laughs> okay. Science. So, speaking of the periodic table, name alkali metals. Your timer starts now. It is very fast. So, unfortunately, none of those were on our list. But, so, professors, you get 10 points from that. But, it is still possibly winnable with this geography question. There's about like a minute left in the fourth quarter here. However, it is still possible. So, professors, geography. Name South American countries. Your timer starts now. Brazil, Argentina, Chile, uh, Bolivia, Paraguay, Uruguay. Okay. So. That was six, I believe? I think so. That is very, very good. <laughs> students, you have this. Okay. So, students, name European countries. Timer yep. starts now. Italy. <laughs> All right. So, you got one of them. However, professors got six of them. So professors at 190, students at 50. So professors win the game show. The students are not smarter than a professor. If we have the pro that's okay. That's why you have more time to school. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so a little bit of like geography and social studies. A little bit of an interview here. So, professors, how do you think you did, and how do you think you won? Mm-hmm. The mic's on you. Um, I don't know. I feel dumber, actually. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> we got a lot wrong. Yeah, for sure. I feel like there's a lot of things we need to brush up on. Hmm. Perhaps. <laughs> Uh, pass the mic to the students. Students, how do you think you could have won? And what do you think you need to do in the future? Uh, I like knew some of them. I just couldn't think of the names. Like, so yeah. my names were just mixing up. But the science-y ones, with the ones with numbers, I can't do. Me too. Just... Mm, indeed, indeed. Well, that concludes Are You Smarter Than a Professor? Have a good day, everyone. Stressful, but fun. Yeah, well done. <laughs>
Tell me Good what game, you know. Good game, students. Tell me what you Good know. Game. Wait.